It's a wreck, but at least it is calm. You wonder for how long, though, especially after a Hong Konger accused China of torture. Earlier this summer, Simon Chung, an employee of the British consulate here, was detained by Chinese authorities for two weeks without explanation. Now, in a detailed Facebook post, he has said that he was tortured. He wrote, When the secret police took me out of the detention centre, I was handcuffed, shackled, blindfolded and hooded, so it was hard to breathe. I was hung, handcuffed and shackled on a steep X-cross, doing a spread eagle pose for hours after hours. I was forced to keep my hands up, so blood cannot be pumped up my arms. It felt extremely painful. We believe that the claims that Simon's made are credible and they amount to mistreatment amounting to torture, which is a clear violation of international law. And under the UN Convention Against Torture, there is an obligation on China, which is a state party to that convention, to investigate and hold to account anyone responsible for those kind of actions. China rejected that out of hand. During his detention, the Public Security Unit guaranteed all of his rights and interests according to law. He also made a full confession about his illegal actions. The allegations came just as Hong Kong had been recovering. The battle is over at Polytechnic University. It had been occupied by thousands. Now, there are only a handful of protesters inside. They're either determined to stay or too afraid to leave. Four years. Okay. This student um, is 17 years old. He, He's been here for five days now. He asked us to disguise his voice. Um, how do you feel right now? I'm pretty nervous and also hopeless because I, I just want to go home now, and, but I don't want to get arrested or get charged because I'm afraid of prison. He called his father. So they continue to fight a battle that's being tidied up outside. The clean-up operation is underway here. They've got a pretty big job on their hands. But this is the quietest we've seen Hong Kong for the whole week, really. The question is whether that quiet will remain in the wake of Simon Chung's allegations. Even if the holdouts did have the will, in some cases their bodies have given up. They are taken into the care of the medics and the police. Tom Cheshire, Sky News, Hong Kong.